Now, I hate the deeds of people, but I love the person to help them to come out. That's the kind of love I have. That comes from God. And agape love, unconditional. So, I, vengeance belongs to God. It don't belong to me. So, I can't take vengeance on you. But what I can do is give you the word of God so you won't get the vengeance of God to come upon you. Amen. You can stop it before it happens. Amen. If you repent, if you're doing something against them, don't let anybody give you that smooth gospel. Amen. Read the Bible. Blow the dust off your Bible, and you'll see ain't nothing smooth in there but it, uh, unless you're doing what is right. Now, if you're doing wrong, it ain't smooth. Only if you're doing right. Lord, have mercy, God. I to say that, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Revelation 2 and 12. And to the angel of the church in Pergamos, right, these things said, he which had the sharp sword with two angels. All right, let's look at the angels. Let's look at 2 and 12 and see what it says there. Uh, messenger. Messenger. That's what I hear. That's the one that's over the body of Christ. As God's messenger. But it's called angel here. Amen. Because he's a messenger. And I was listening to Brother uh, bring that word today on, on, on him, of uh, the person that's over the, the body of Christ. Uh, God, you know, you got to prepare people to meet for meet Christ. We, we the bride. Right. But he's the group. Mm -hmm. So we have to prepare the church to get ready to meet Jesus. That's my job. Uh, now, some people may not like it because I step on their toes with the word. Well, if, it, if you have an ouch, that means you're doing something wrong. So just repent and get right with God because Jesus is on his way back. Uh, yeah, he's coming back to a church without a spot, wrinkle, or a blemish. He's going to present one. Amen. So a spot, wrinkle, or blemish is sin. We can make, I make it where well, you can't miss it. I make it easy over here where you can understand between good and evil. All right, so here we see that he's telling his angel of the church now, he's going to warn this man here that's over this church because you're going to see he's doing something wrong. You see that you're going to see this leader over the church of God. They ain't, they ain't the leader church, that's God's church. So sometimes you can do stuff in your house, or you know, uh, that's your house. But when you come to God's house, Amen. I may rebuke you. All right. While I'm on that, Lord, let me, let me get that off of me right quick. Come with me to uh, open rebuke. It's better than secret love. That's Proverbs 27 and 5. Proverbs, the 27th chapter, the fifth verse, that's page 807. That's page 807. Amen. I'll write this here on my paper. I got that. Amen. Deceiving. Amen. It's hot off the press. Amen. Bless God. I got that this evening. The uh, Lord put it in my spirit that open rebuke is better than secret love. So that's what we're going to find here in that verse. Uh, now, if you look at secret love, you'll see that it's concealed. You know, it's in secret. You love it in secret. You try to conceal it. it let, me, let me make something plain. If you love it in secret, it ain't your wife yeah. and it ain't your husband. Is anything good in secret, though? Uh, no. If, but they're doing it in secret so that means that's because they take nobody to see it. Yeah, so it's is, concealed. Yeah. It's in secret, meaning that it's concealed. Now, the scripture says his eyes go upon the earth to and fro, looking at the good and the evil. And evil. So all God see them. But he so, I mean, that's just a question because, you know, people want to do things in, in, in secret. Keep well, they think secret. they are. I don't want to keep no secrets because if you if you tell them it's uh, I mean well I, everybody ain't got what you got now Bishop. We, we, everybody we're gonna, ain't we're gonna, got the we're word pass we're gonna try to give it to them everybody ain't got the word like you got it Bishop. I'm going well I didn't have it all the time and I yeah. still, I still have my mouth did you ever did it in secret huh did you ever did it in secret oh yeah yeah, I, I thought, yeah I'm, I'm, so that's that's what we want to deal with with the ones that still are doing, doing it. it pray for them now, yeah pray for them not the ones that the stop. Amen. You and I, thank the Lord, He saved us, and we just stopped doing it. I did it in secret too. Oh yeah. I thought it, I thought it was. Yeah. I thought it was in, it was in secret. Yeah. Uh, but but God. But God told me to even watch it, man. He was watching. Oh, and you got his eyes on the good and on the evil. So I quit doing it. I quit. I'm through with it. I'm through with the devil. 
making my flesh feel good to send me to hell. I ain't playing that game. All right, so let's go back to the 12th verse, Revelation 2 and 12, page 1465. And to the end of the church in Perkins' right, these things that he had the sharp sword with two ages. Now, who is him that got the sharp sword with two ages? Jesus. That's Jesus. Yeah. Now, notice he got two ages. Why sharp on both ends? Is it going cut, going in, cut, cut? It's going to cut the preacher too. Cut whoever. Whoever in the way. <laughs> whoever. <laughs> whoever get in the way and yeah. it's wrong. Now, yeah. come on, we're going to get right with the word. Now, if it's wrong, it's going to cut them. Right. If they're right, it won't cut, it won't cut the person that's doing right. Yeah. That's why we want to bring it and explain it and make it where So when you say two edge, that means it's cutting going in. Two so edge whoever needs mean, it. Meaning sharp on both ends. If you got if two, you got some two edge yeah. sword, right. that means this end is sharp and that end is sharp. That means both sides. On both sides. So they're going in, yeah. cutting. Yeah, it's going to cut. cut. It's going to so cut. So if the preacher holding on, on the his, edge of that sword, he's going to get cut too. And he ain't right. You're going to cut him. him. And the ones out there in the choir or in the pew or, yeah, right. it's uh, or, 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 or washing the dough or the yeah. dough keepers, well, ain't nobody going to get away because right. it's a two-edged one. So, so then Jesus is the one that got it. Now, he can, he can, he can have the two-edged sword. He can't cut, cut him because he's doing what? He's handling. He's doing right. He's doing right. Yeah, so he can't right. cut him. He can't cut Jesus It only because he's righteous. It only cut those who was doing wrong. Oh, you got a number, brother John. Mm -hmm. I know my works. Oh, they say it ain't about work. Here, Jesus Christ, I know your works. It's about work. Don't let man just see you with that little one scripture you give you. I know thy works, where you end up dwelling. I know where you at. Even where Satan's seat is. Now, I know that Satan had a seat in this church. Mm hmm. If he comes sit down here, what's going to happen to him? got to go. We're yeah. going to pull a chair from under him. Yeah, We're going to pull a chair from under him. If he come try to sit in here with Big Jesus on the Bible Center, we're going to pull a chair from under him. And if anybody's serving the devil, thinking they can come in and, and, and hide, we'll pull a chair from under the devil out of their life so they can go free. free. Yeah. What's wrong with that picture? That's a good picture. I think that's a good picture. I like free. He said me free. free. Better. I like to see other people go free. Instead of being bound by the devil. I know thy works and where thou dwellest, even where Satan's seat is, and thou holdest fast my name. I know you, you got you got your name all over the buildings. You got, you got my name. But you got a seat for Satan. Oh, he's going to be all the day with the job. He's saying, you, 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 I don't, you don't know if my name. Why is he going to find something against this church? Because he's looking for what? Perfection. Man, y'all leave man alone. They ain't looking for perfection. Leave man, just leave that preacher alone that ain't looking for no perfection. And because he, he, but look, he, Pastor, he it uh, says the, he's yeah, y'all leave him alone and go with God. Even where he said, I know thy works and where thou dwellest, even where Satan's seat is. Yeah. And thou holdest fast my name. Yeah, you're holding fast my name. You, and you, has you call on my name. Oh, you're ahead, using my name. And has not, go ahead, Pastor, you finish reading. And has not, <laughs> Lord, have mercy, God. So if you, his name, has not denied my faith. So if they got some faith. Oh, you're going you to get some money to this, buddy, John. I'm telling you, I know something what I'm talking about. Even in those days where Antipas was my faithful mortal who was slain among you, where Satan dwelled. He said, I thought about that too. Mm-hmm. But I have a what? A few things. All right, so what are you looking for? Perfection. All right, so let's find out what few things this church was doing that Jesus hated. Yeah, Jesus hated. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I was just like, like that love scripture. But here is Jesus Christ. I'm going to hate what he hates. Now, you do what you want. But I have a few things against thee because thou hast that, them that hold... The doctrine of Balaam. The doctrine of who? Balaam. Who is Balaam? He's a, uh, he works for the devil. Uh, he was a prophet. He was a prophet. But he, he, he was taught, a prophet that the donkey taught, taught you. Yeah, that's right. But he, yeah, yeah, but he, he showed them. the people down the river. Yeah. Uh, okay, God's Balaam people. Was the prophet. And God had to whip them people and then kill a bunch of them behind this prophet. Yeah. So prophet 
Bam. Pass it down as Jesus took it. Stop leaving the people in the wrong direction and blow the dust off that Bible. Leave them other books alone and get back into the Bible. So you give it to the people what God word says. Mm. Balak is who I, yeah, go ahead. And who taught Balak? Mm. He did what? Taught he it. taught the king. He said, I can't curse with God, yeah. curse, but he taught Balak how the children of God can be cursed. Stumbling block. I just like the who? The devil. I just like the devil using a prophet. And he used preachers. Lord, have mercy. I say the devil used preachers. You better be a fruit inspector. And then he cast his stumbling block before the children of Israel. So he used Belloc to cast a stumbling block, called the people of God to fall, because he got them women. You find it in the book of Numbers, the 25th chapter. Amen. How God killed a bunch of them. Amen. Then you find old Bella and, 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 and Numbers 35 and 8 where the Lord killed them, took them out. Yeah, God don't play. Y'all go ahead and play church if you want to. I'm through playing church. I'm going for the real church now. I'm going for the real church now. <laughs> so, huh? Brother, I sneeze. He, he talked. Bella to cast a stomach by the children of Israel to eat things sacrificed in the island and to commit fornication. Sleep with them. That, that's against who? God. That's against God. And that prophet knew that. So he taught the king how to, how to curse God's people. That, that boy was a prophet. You better know God for yourself because that preacher, if he leading you in the wrong direction, y'all both going to bust hell wide open. What did he tell that 16 verse? No, let's go to 15. Yeah, 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 skip that 15. Mm -hmm. yeah. So as thou saw all them that hold the doctrine of Nicodotian, which thing what? Which thing that which he hate. Which I hate. Now what we said that Jesus Christ hate. So I got to hate what Jesus hate, love what Jesus Christ love, and still turn around and forgive you and love you. Because vengeance belongs to him. It don't belong to me. Can't take no vengeance out on you. Amen. That ain't, ain't my, that's not for, for me to do. He didn't tell me who it belongs to. So I'm going to do my part and let God do his. He got a two-edged sword. And he'll cut the preacher. He'll cut everybody. Amen. They ain't right. The deacons, the choir members, the cute sinners. Lord, I'm best going to here. I say, usher boy, uh, Lord, the choir, I say, yeah, cut them all. Cut it all off of me, Lord. I don't want none of that junk. In the name of Jesus. Jesus. My God. Where did preacher come from? And then, but my check is zip 777-03-1375 East Lewis. Thank you. So as I had them that hold that Dr. Nicolosian, which things I hate. Nicolosian, if you study the Dr. Nicolosian, they were dealing with our gods. And that's what Jesus Christ hates. Is our gods. God is a jealous God. Don't put in any other gods before me. He said, Don't make any image or likeness of anything in heaven where Jesus Christ come from. You got people making pictures of Jesus. You got some black Jesus, you got some white Jesus. Some of them don't like the white, so they make the black one. Lord, how much you need to quit it because the Lord is against it. I said, The Lord is against it. Amen. Bless God, He ain't fine. I say he's a guessing. Lord have my said. So repent or yes, I was uh oh. Uh, he said repent. So repent. What, what, what repent mean? Turn away from. Turn away from. Get a lot of hands on the child, brother. We pray for you, brother. Amen. Show up. Lord have my God. What a God. Devil lost another one. But child on page fourteen sixty five. Amen. Revelation two. And we have the sixteen verse. Sixteen. Revelation the second chapter, the sixteen verse. Repent me to turn from. So I have to turn from what I'm doing wrong. If you don't tell me what is wrong, how can I turn? Come on, preacher. If you can't preach to me what's right and what's wrong, how can I know what to turn from? You tell me, hey, give me nothing but smooth things, and I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Because you ain't teaching that. You ain't preaching to me all of God's word. Don't give me little pieces of it. Give me all of it so I can repent if I'm doing something against God. 
Repent, or else I come up, 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 uh, unto thee. How long? Quickly. Quickly. Lord, that don't sound like he's waiting a long time. He ain't playing. Mm -hmm. And will fight against them with a sword of my what? Mouth. Oh, you won't want that to happen, preacher. You don't want God to fight, fight with you with the sword of his mouth. The reason I keep saying preaching because that's who he's talking to, that, that angel. The one that was leading God's people. Amen. 17 verse. He that had an ear, let him hear what the Spirit said unto the world. Churches. You need to listen to what the Spirit is saying, what the Holy Ghost is saying. Amen. Bless God. Jesus ain't going to go against the Father. He ain't going to go against the Holy Ghost. I said, he's going to follow them all the way to what is right. That's what I want to do. I want to follow you, Jesus. When nobody else will want to do right, help me to do right. Amen. When nobody else want to be perfect, let me be perfect. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Jesus. Give me what they don't want, Lord. And I can have more. Give me a fear of it what the Christians don't want. So I can have more of it. I want to fear you, Lord. In the name of Jesus, because it's clean. And it said, with humility and the fear of the Lord is great riches and honor. Oh, I'm going to get rich. Amen. Bless God. Lord, help us just keep myself humble before you. Amen. And obey your word. That's the sign of humbleness is when a person repent and obey the word of God. God see your humbleness. He's going to take you and clean you up. Amen. And then set you on the holiness, highway of holiness. To his house. You'll be able to get to his house now. He that had an ear, let him hear what the Spirit said unto the churches. Amen. Do we have an S on that? Yes. Yes. The church. Churches. Well, I mean, he's talking about one more church. More than one. More than one. Well, more than one church he talked. He talked about more than one church. Yes. And all of what is ever getting in all the churches here, as in Beaumont, all over the world today. Amen. He's talking to all them churches. And I bless myself here, Lord. To him that what? To him I will give to eat. To him that overcome it. Well, what I got to overcome? Sin. I got to overcome the sin. I got to overcome Jezebel spirits. I got to overcome praying the hours and shot it. And man told me it was all right to do with his lying self, old false prophet, old false teacher. I know a false prophet and a teacher because I got the word of God in me. I can tell him. I can, you might not be able to tell him because you ain't, you, ain't nobody told you the truth. Amen. They just lied to you. He that overcome it shall what I give to ye of the hidden matter. Lord, I must say, God, Lord, I want, I want the hidden matter. And we give him a white stone. I'll take that too, Lord. Yeah, help me to be an overcomer. And the oh Lord have mercy. And the stone in new name. He told me, oh Lord, that's a lot of stuff you get. It's just being an overcomer. Uh, I want to be one, Lord. Help me to be one. If they don't want it, give it to me. I, I, I want to overcome. And you name written, no man know it, save he that receiveth it. That's, a, that's one church you didn't talk to. Let's see what this other church he's going to say to. Hey, Amen. He's going to kill their children. And that's the one I want to go to. I want to go to that church. Hey, Amen. He's going to say, I'm going to take your children out. Jezebel spirit. <laughs> 18 bride. And then to the angel. Who is the angel? That's the uh, head of the church. The, yeah, that's, that's the message. That's, that's the one over the church. Yeah. Yeah, that's the preacher. Okay, yeah, we're gonna make sure well, you can understand it. I want to preach and tell you. Of the church in Tyburn, right? These things said the Son of God. Who talking here? Jesus. That's God's Son talking here. Jesus. Oh, he, yeah, he ain't cut no corners. He ain't giving you nothing smooth. He wants you to get it right. Who had his eyes like unto a flame of fire. I know that's his son. And his feet are. Uh, like fine brass. 19 bird. I know thy works. That's all about your works too. Well, let's find out. We find out wrong with this church. And charity. I know all about your love. Some people say, oh, you got to have love. Well, 
watch, watch what happened in this church. I know you had some. I know you got some love. I know you got. I know so you got some good works going on, but you got something that's wrong, and you need to get right. Because I'll suffer that woman Jezebel. Right. Oh, okay. Which one? Was, I got to go back to nineteen. Yeah. I know that work, and it lasts to be more than the first. I know your work should last me. You're doing some good work. All right, let's get the 20th verb. Uh, you're going to find something here wrong in the 20th verb. Amen. But blow that devil's arms with the Bible. Come on, all of you, with me there. Amen. So y'all can get saved with the word and not with the preacher. And notwithstanding, I have a few things against thee. I got something against you, preacher, messing up the church. That some of that woman Jezebel, you letting that woman Jezebel come in your church, preacher, hmm. which called herself a property. Uh, you find Jezebel also in the Old Testament. Here she is in the book of Revelation in the New Testament. That spirit, that's a spirit. Jezebel is a spirit. It's a spirit. Mm -hmm. And Jezebel had that spirit on her. Mm -hmm. And Jesus Christ calling that spirit out. That spirit is called Jezebel. Which call herself a prophetess to teach and seduce my servant to commit fornication, to eat things sacrificed in the islands. Here's another one doing. Then Jezebel come in and talk all that noise. It's all right to do. Yeah. I gave her a space to repent of a fornication. She what? Repented not. And guess what? They still ain't repenting. They're still doing wrong out there. Praying in the mile as a statue. The Lord is against that. I don't care. You want something smooth, you don't get it here. We're going to give you the truth. Amen. We want you free. I gave her a space for and she didn't even repent because she's still doing it. Yeah. 22nd bride. Behold, I will cast her into a bed of them that commit adultery with her and to great tribulation except they repent of their deed. Now, what he said, I'm going to put him in what? A great tribulation. And a lot of things come to this world now we're having trouble with. Because of sin. Sin doing it. And now the president wants to give you stimulus checks, thinking that's going to satisfy you. I don't care how many stimulus checks you get. If you don't repent, you're going to bust hell wide open. You in that stimulus check. Uh, I'm through praying church. I gave us later repentance, you repent out of fornication. Uh, Lord, have mercy. Behold, I cast in the bed of them that commit adultery with her to great churches, except they what? Repent, repent of their deed. Folks say it ain't by works, they're lying to you. Jesus Christ said it is. Your deeds is your work, is what you're doing against God. I will kill the what? Children. Oh, man. Yeah, Jesus is going to do that for the trouble. Oh, uh, he yeah. said in his word, uh, we don't make it smooth. We give you the truth. Amen. You shall know the truth, make you free. and the truth make shall you make you free. You're going to go free tonight if you believe the truth. I gave her, I would kill her children with death, and all the what? Churches. Is that just one church? No, that's that's all the churches. Jesus Christ, you don't know I'm the one that did it. I'm going to kill your children, preacher. You don't want to act right. You don't want to leave my people in the right direction. Your children, I'm going to take them out. And the church is going to know I did it. Churches shall know that I am he with such as a wrens and heart. I'm the one to check you out. She was in you. And I've given everyone according to his what? Work again. Your works. Your works. According to their works again. Again, you say, I'm going to give it that preacher according to his works what he's doing with my people. Jesus. Oh, Lord, have mercy, God. And it's happened unto I say and to the rest of Tiger. So everybody in this church is not doing that. Some of them want to live for God because they know how to do it. So they're not following that preacher. I hope y'all catch me here. Some of them following the preacher and some not. Be among the group that don't follow a preacher going in the wrong direction. 
preach a smooth thing until you won't deal with your sins. As many as I have and have not this doctrine, we have not known the depths of Satan. And they speak, I will put upon you no other burden. I ain't going to put no burden on the ones that are doing right. I'm going to put it on the ones that are doing wrong in that church. You got some, you got some doing right, some doing wrong in the church. Yeah. Is that going on today? Yeah. Oh, sure. You find about every church somebody doing right and somebody doing wrong. Doing wrong. Yeah. Even out the preacher and preach righteousness, some, they really still go out there and do wrong. Uh, and he ain't going to be on me. He's going to be on you because I told you the truth. And you didn't want to do it, so you uh, you didn't want to repent. The Lord know you you know who you are. But that which you have already, hold fast till I come. So you're telling the other part of the church to hold fast. What you're doing right, hold that fast. Don't let nobody, don't let nobody turn you around to what is in the church doing right. Y'all hold fast. Ain't nobody else in that church doing right, you do right. I don't want to be with the hypocrites. That's why the told me one time, I'm not going to church because I don't want to be with the hypocrites. Well, I'd rather be with the hypocrites in the church than be with them in hell because <laughs> now I got a chance of getting it right. Amen. Yeah, because I'm in the church. David said his foot almost slipped until he went into the house of God. And then he found the end of them. David was watching them doing good. They were making money. They were getting wealthy. Nothing was happening to the children. He said, but would he wait? Into God's house. He heard the word. He heard what's going to happen. How God was going to cut the wicked off. In the church. And uh, his foot didn't slip no more. So I got to hold fast. Mm -hmm. yes, Stuff I know. I've been studying this Bible 46 years. So I'm going to hold fast to what I know about God. You do what you want. You play that game out there with the people's souls if you won't preach it. Hmm. All right, the whole fast said I come, and he that what? Overcome. So overcome. what you overcome? Sin. Sin. You overcome in Jezebel, what a lion said. And keeping my works unto the end. Who works? We talked about it. Jesus. Jesus, Jesus worked by right. not being part of that. But you're part of righteousness and holiness. The scripture says, without righteousness, without peace and holiness, no man shall see the Lord. I don't care what talent you got. He said, no man shall see the Lord without it. Lord, I mercy God. Lord, I want it. I want it. I want it. Lord, I mercy. Amen. I want peace and holiness, Lord. Let your peace run through me like a river. And your holiness run through me. I want to live holy, Lord. I want to live, live upright before you. I want to be dead to sin. I want to be alive to righteousness, God. And I know you can do it. I ain't got no doubt in my mind that I'm going to keep praying that prayer until you call me out of here or until you come back, whichever one come first. In the name of Jesus, I'm going to keep doing it. Amen. He that had overcome and keep my works, I'm going to help you to keep your work until the end. I go all the way to the end. I don't want to slip and slide, dip and dive with the folks in the church. To him that I give power over what? Over, over the nation. Man, look, I'm getting something else. Y'all see the rewards. I mean, I call some rewards out before these rewards. And he's going to give me that if I obey his word. A lot of people want the promise of God without the conditions. All right. Now, the condition here to get that. You can quote all you want with your mouth. Amen. Jesus Christ said, uh, that's another part of the Bible, say, you worship me with your lips, but your heart is far from me. They was worshiping the Lord with their lips and wouldn't keep in his commandment. Yeah. I mean, your heart is far from God. You're not obeying his commandment. His law and his statute and threw it out your church. And we ain't going to die over here. I let me know when, they, when I'm crooked. That's my plumb line on Herman Andrew Young. That's me. Amen. If he leaving, I'll take that word and straighten him by God. Amen. And keep him straight. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Jesus. I call on me some backup when Herman can't do it. He can't do everything right. So I have to have some power. 
I said, I have to have me some anointing if you're going to do this thing. It's not by might. It's not by your power. It's even by my spirit, said the Lord of hosts. You can't do that without the Holy Ghost. You can't do that without Jesus. Jesus Christ said, without me, you can't do nothing. So I'm going to find out I can't do this. A lot of folks, I was listening to a preacher, and they were all in my eyes. I said, no, what did it mess up? It got the people thinking they can do it. You're going to stick messed up with that preacher teaching you, and you believe you can do it. Oh, and bless myself here, Lord. Amen. Get a lot of that hand clap for that prayer. Amen. And he shall rule them with a rod of iron. All right, he's going to let me rule these nations. He's going to give me a rod of iron to rule them with. As a vessel of potter shall it be broken to shiver, even as I receive of my father. I'm going to give it to you. They're going to be broken in shivers. Now, how are you going to fight against somebody like that? Follow that devil. I know y'all got some devil churches out there. That uh, devil line that you giving you power. He ain't got more power than God. The scripture says, Great is he as in me than he does in the world. And they have another scripture says, Satan is the God of this world. I might trap a lot of Christians out there because they want to play with, play with the devil a while and play with God a while. Then they want to go play with the devil a while. They want to play with God a while. Well, you going to find out one night or one morning or one evening or one night, you're going to end up with the devil. Keep playing. Keep playing, church. Twenty-eight. Now I will give him the morning star. I get something else. We got the morning star. I got the nations. My God, I got my name changed. A new name. If I just whip up on the devil, if I just overcome the devil, I want to know can I overcome? In Jesus' name. Oh, in the name of Jesus. That's the job. That's the job. Come on, that. In the name of Jesus, I can whip that devil in that name. I can whip him with the blood. And then he turned around and said, he gave me power and the thought of all the worship of the devil. Then he said, I can trade on scoffers and serpents. I said, he gave me power to trade on scoffers and serpents. He said, only rejoice when them devils are subject to, your, to my name, but rejoice because your name is written in the Lamb Book of Life. Lord, I give you all honor and the glory to pray for it, Lord. Uh, that my name is in the written in the Book of Life. Because uh, I say I got power and authority over them spirits that attack me. Uh, and not one of them can destroy me. Uh, They're going to get destroyed before they try to destroy me. Because I'm going to fight. You're in a fight. I'm going to body fool you. Fight for your soul. He that had an ear, let him hear with the spirit, send him to the churches. What, he, got, he got more than one in? Yes. That he is. All, all the churches out there. Churches, y'all hear me on Facebook? Listen. He ain't praying. Uh, y'all leave that, that praying church alone. Amen. That's what I'm going to here. Amen. Coming now, amen, bless God, to uh, a time of love whom Jesus loved. So there's a time of hate. There's a time to love. Amen. So I got to hate what he hate and love what he love. Amen. All right. So let's go to page 1289, 21 and 20. As John, 21 chapter, the 20th verse. Amen. Lord, it's a time to love. It's a time to hate. So what time it is to hate? Hate what? Hate the sin. Hate the sin. Hate what is evil? There's another scripture said, hate what is evil and cling to that which is good. So I've got to hate the evil, that's a sin. And then i got to cling to what's good, that's what God wants me to do. So that's 21 good. and what, Pastor? 21. That's John 21 and 20. John 21 and 20. And that's page 1289. Page 1289. Then Peter turning about said, said to the disciples, whom Jesus loved. Now, who you think who that is? John. John. As John. And you're going to see why Jesus Christ loved him more. Hey, that's a, uh, <laughs> you're going to see why Jesus Christ loved John more than all his apostles. For 
I was going to hate all that message. Uh, whom Jesus Christ loved, following would also learn on the on lean, lean on his breast as supper. What y'all was doing? Leaning on him. He was close to Jesus. Yeah. yeah. You know, you, you start the book of John, as I always tell people, go to the book of John and read the book of John first. In the beginning was the Word. The Word was with God. The Word was God in the beginning with God. He starts at the beginning. See, John, John is also the same John here. He was on Isle of Patmos. Revelation. Who showed him all the revelations? Jesus. And he gave it to who? To John. God ain't gonna just entrust his word with anybody. <laughs> Amen. You got a lot of preachers don't know nothing. They think they do. Yeah, they fooling themselves. Whom Jesus loved, following which also learned, lean on his breast and suffer, and said, Lord, which is he that betrayed thee? And the Lord, that's my sad. What the Lord who, who gonna betray you? Look at 21 verse. Peter seeing him said to Jesus, Lord, and what shall this man do? He want to know, he want to know what John's gonna do. Now the Lord said to Peter, you know, don't worry about the other person. Where about you? you do what God yeah. told you to do. Yeah. Do your part. Get on your post. And leave the rest of the law on it. They don't do nothing. I don't, if y'all ain't going to do nothing around here, I'm going to be on my post. I'm going to be on my post. Now, if you ain't on your post, it's between you and the law. I'm going to be on my post. Look, Peter, what, what are you going to do, Lord? I don't know what you're going to do. You know, I, watch that. Jesus, boy, Jesus going to straighten up Peter again. We got 20 seconds right. Jesus said to him, If I will that, that thou ye tarry till I come, what is that to thee? Follow <laughs> down me. Don't worry about John Peter. I tell you to follow me. Y'all caught that one? Mm -hmm. Can't do what Jesus Christ said you to do. Don't worry about what Don't worry right about the rest of them. To the left or to the right? <laughs> Just focus yeah, on Because they might not do what Jesus Christ <laughs> called them to do. And now that you, you are, you ain't doing nothing. Yeah, ain't nothing to do with you what they doing. <laughs> <laughs> they but Lord, they ain't doing nothing, so I ain't gonna do nothing. Well, you better watch out. That's dangerous. Leave the people alone. And because he ain't gonna straight, he straight Peter out. Watch out, he straight Peter out with that. Amen. That's why you need some word in you. Lord, I bless you. Then, then when you saying, Amen, bless God. Uh, then when you saying about. Uh, among the brethren, that the that the disciples should not die. Yet Jesus said not unto him, he should not die. So people take scriptures and don't know what the scriptures share. That's why you need another scripture, the correct scripture, because people are saying that. And the Lord didn't say that mm -hmm. as a people. And that's what the people were saying. So now it's going to be corrected. So when you study the word of God, you want to make sure Jesus said it. That's about it. Then you can't go what? Wrong. You can't go wrong that way. Yet Jesus said unto him, He that as he shall not die, but I that he would tear until I come. That's what I said. I ain't said nothing about him. Yeah. Yeah. Now you gotta correct him. What is it that to thee? Come on, Peter. What you what's that to you? I don't care what the people tell you. I try to tell you, I want you to follow me. Don't worry about the John and the people, what they say. Leave them people alone out there. Then, this is the disciple who is testified of these things and wrote these things, and we know that his testimony is true. So he wrote, he wanted to wrote the book of John. That's why they say it's John. Mm -hmm. All right, so he wrote these things. Watch what else he wrote. Oh, I'll tell you, but, but John was on up. He's on top of this thing. We got 25th verse, which we are 25th verse. And there are also many other things which Jesus did, the which if they should be written, everyone, I suppose that even the word itself, the world itself, can, can, cannot contain the books should be, should be written. I don't, I don't think there's a, a world itself can put everything Jesus did in a book. That's awesome. So there's some things that's not in this book. Because yeah. the book itself couldn't have it. Ain't that something? Ain't that something? 
Jesus Christ did a lot of work by his ear. Oh, it's all that. Amen. Okay, so I, I got here. Uh, a time to rebuke. I didn't even know I had that on that. Let's go see what Jesus cried. Because there's a time to love. There's a time to hate. There's a time to forgive. There's a time to go forward. There's a time to look back. So there's a time. And you got to know how to deal with time. Amen. Time not is on nobody's side. So you got to learn how to deal with time with the word. Amen. Use the word, amen, as your time table. Lord, have mercy, God. So then I got a time to preach. I got a time to teach. I got a time to say. Oh, it's always a time. Mm -hmm. I'm dealing with it. All right, so let's look. Let's go to uh, page 1157, Matthew 16 and 21. It's a time to rebuke here. Jesus, Jesus Christ is getting ready to do some rebuking. And it's going to be Peter. That's a, it's going to be our brother Peter. Yeah, Peter. But Peter didn't give up. This is what I like about Peter, uh, brother. Uh, brother John, brother, uh, brother Sean. Hey, Amen. Uh, Peter never gave up. Even though he got corrected, he, he hanged in that. Mm -hmm. Now, most people get corrected, what happened? They get offended. They fall on the wayside. Yeah, they, they get in their They don't like to be rebuked. But Peter got a lot of rebukes. Oh, you got a lot of them. Amen. Cut in Matthews, amen, 16. Amen. Bless God. And we're going to start at the 21 verse. Right, 16 and 21 at page 1157. From that time forth, began Jesus to show unto his disciples. Now you're going to show them what's going to happen to them. Now that he must go unto Jerusalem and suffer many things of the elders, and chief priest, and scribe, and be killed, and be raised again the third day. All he's doing is showing them what's going to happen to him. Why Peter jumping in? Then Peter took him and what? Began to rebuke him. And Peter rebuking Jesus. <laughs> you want to correct him? Peter, Peter want to, who you want to correct? Jesus. I don't know y'all like to have Peter to start off with. Uh-uh. <laughs> And y'all leave. Huh? <laughs> he, he, he ain't doing too good right now. Uh, he, he did better in the book of Acts because the Lord prayed for him. He said, Peter, Satan would like to suck you up like wheat. What I'm going to do for you, Peter, pray for you. I'm going to pray for you. Ask the Lord to pray for you. If you have a problem trying to obey his word, his commandments, his statutes, if you have some problem with that, pray. Ask God to ask Jesus Christ to pray for you. And you be converted. And that you convert others. See, once you convert it, then you can have others get converted. Because you ain't going to go for the hokey dope and the smooth stuff all the time. Then Peter took him, began to rebuke him, saying, Be it far from me, Lord. This shall not be unto thee. Don't do no, 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 don't say that. 23rd verse. But he turned and said to Peter, Get thee behind me. How you know Satan got into his pulse? <laughs> because he wasn't saying the right thing. It was that, Brother John, that's how you can tell if a person doing wrong. They're lying and will come out their mouth. You can discern. To be a discerner of something, you have to know how to have knowledge. If you don't have no knowledge of it, you can't discern. Amen. If you've got knowledge, of what God was said. Jesus Christ knew his father told him to go to the cross. Okay. And here come his apostle. And he knew the devil got in his apostle. That's awesome when you can know that. Amen. As an individual, you can't see that spirit. Mm -hmm. But you can know by his works. Yeah. You mm -hmm. can't see God. But you ought to know him by his works. Mm -hmm. Tell it to Paul, get that get devil, get that devil out of you, Peter. Thou art an offense unto me. You offended me, Peter. So want, you want me to sin against God. You want me to go do what God wants me to do. Offenses also can mean a sin. So here Peter letting the devil use him as an apostle for Jesus Christ to sin against his father by disobeying his father. 
Disobedience is what? Sin. Sin. How many times it works? Every like time. Uh -huh. Every time you disobey his commandments, laws, and statutes, you sin it. Yeah. I'll make it plain, but you can understand it. When you obey his statutes and commandments of the Lord, you're doing what is right. Mm -hmm. That's righteousness. All right. But he turned and said unto Peter, Get down, me, Satan, thou art no offense of me, for thou savest not the things that be of God, but those that be of what? Men. Of men. You talk like a man, you and that devil. Y'all ain't got in cahoots together. Now bless myself here. Amen. 24th verse. Then said Jesus to him, Thank you. Then said Jesus to him and the disciples, If any man will come after me, let him deny himself, take up his cross, and what? Follow me. So how do you deny yourself? Doing what's right. Doing what is that's it, that's it, brother John. This ain't hard. I have to deny myself when the Lord words say something, that's the right thing. Amen. When the Lord words say something, that's the right thing. Mm -hmm. I gotta know what his word says. Yeah. To do what is right. Mm -hmm. I have knowledge of his word. And then when I have knowledge of his word, that's when I'm doing the right thing. I can't do the right thing without knowledge. No. Because somebody lied to me and told me it was right. Yeah. And the word says it's wrong. Mm -hmm. So some people can call right wrong. Well, they said this. And they call wrong right. They're doing that today. Mm -hmm. They said it's all right for homosexuals to get married. They that's said wrong. it's right. That's wrong. And that's wrong because the word of God is not right. It's, it's wrong. I don't care what man say. I don't care the president say whoever else what said. The, what, what the word said. Yeah, the word says it's wrong. What's wrong with homosexual no period? You let someone get married. In that white house. And you the one that's got to answer to God. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Pastor, it's wrong to, to, to be homosexual. So it's wrong, to, it's wrong to be homosexual. It's doubly wrong to get married. How you yeah. trying to make sure? And then you're going to pass a law that says all right? Well, that's the That's the wrong kind of law you yeah. pass it. And, you're and, trying and to pass the law against God's law. You, you <laughs> ain't too swift. I ain't following them, Lord. No, I can't. And I ain't following for that hope. In Jesus' you know. name, I can't. In the name of Jesus. So I got to take up my cross and follow Jesus daily. Mm -hmm. And who for whosoever shall save his life shall what? Lose it. So if you try to lose, try to save your life because of the people, because of folks that don't like you, uh, because now you're under the gun, uh, to see if you're going to live holy or not, is if you try to say if you're going to end up losing your life, try to go wrong with the people. I, I want to give a quick, brief testimony. You know, I, and, and when it, allow God to to do his to do his thing, you you know, we, we've talked, discussed a lot, and it's dealing with the job, and you know, I, I just allowed it to, you know, I just did what I was supposed to do. And everything came out, coming out slowly accordingly. I don't have to do anything. I try to give you the right, you know what I'm saying, explain to you what you can and can't do, you know, just, but you choose to do it your way. Well, now. Yeah, you didn't, you didn't get your point. And, 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 and that's I, all God looking for, Mr. Jones. Oh, man. That's and all they're looking for is for you to do your part. Be obedient. And be obedient. Yeah, and myself. you're going to get the rewards. Yeah. And it's happening. Now, the other person that you're talking to that don't want to obey what God's word says, mm. then that's a flip side. Yes, it is. They're going to end up lost. Yeah. And the penalty is far greater. I mean, just do what's right. I mean, that you know, Pastor, do what's right. Well, what, what is right? God's will, his word. His word. And, and, and that's that's right. See, I got to know. No. But you got to teach me, Brother John, what his word is saying. So that's a good point. And it's easy to say that, what is right. right. But what is right to me. But I got to know no. from the word of God. So it, that's where it comes from. Yeah, it don't you come gotta, from. You got to give me the word. It don't come because from. Because you can just tell me it's right. But I don't know what right is because you ain't told me what was right. And, and that's, you know, that's pretty interesting because you, you, you can't. It's kind of expecting somebody to do something that don't have, don't have no knowledge of how to do it. In my, in my people yeah. parish. For lack of knowledge. So if I ain't got knowledge of what right is, I don't know the commandments, I don't, don't know God's law, I don't know his statutes, I ain't got no so knowledge I of should, it. I should, you know what, without teaching, without them wanting to know what's right. Yeah. You know, I, I shouldn't expect anything more from, I should pray for them, that they get it. 
Yeah. Like then someone prayed for me. With the word right. says it's right. So it's yeah, not about what my brother John is saying. It's about yeah. what God works. God works. We, we, and we got to go back. That ain't got to do with us. Man, it ain't. I know. I know. I know. I know folks try to uh, yeah. help people. I try. I try. And and but again, I mean, you can make a situation worse by trying to. Well, you can help them do wrong. Wrong. What you gain? Nothing. They, they, yeah. I'm in a situation. I got to with me and fix that situation. Yeah. I'll pass. So I just want to do, I want to do, so harder for me to do right is I got to do God's will and his word. And then that, that allow people to see it. Yeah. You know, that, that's his will is his word. Yeah. The first thing you got to understand, you got to get the word. You got to get the word. That's his will. In you. The other thing you got to understand, you got to get his word to keep the law. How do you keep the law and you don't know what the word says about the law? <laughs> so the key to that is, is the word. What does the word say about, the word say. you know, so it is like Googling. What does the word say about, and then you Google it and it'll tell you, yeah. you know what I'm saying? It'll give you scriptures pertaining yeah. to that. It'll so, give, give you what that word says. Yeah. If I'm looking for a definition, yeah. I put the word yeah. in there That's right. and it gives me a definition, definition of the word. But if I, I can't get the definition of a word, if I don't you know, know what the word, word is, it's always start with the what? With the word. With the word. It does. That's how you learn about Jesus, through the what? Through the word. Through the word. That's how you learn about the Holy Ghost through the word. word. That's how you learn about God's whipping through the word. That's how you learn about God's judgment through the word. That's how you learn, learn about God's wisdom through the word. Yeah. And he said, if you like it, I can give you some more. Just ask for it, and I'll give you more of it. Yes, sir. <laughs> so I'm teaching heavenly, well, because she's the one, one about the, the Ten Commandments. So she pulled up something, and it kind of like one worded it, like uh, have no other God before God. Uh, and then idolatry, and, yeah. and then uh, murder. You know, it's, so it's like one wording it. And then adultery came up. Yeah. And so she had a, a friend of mine that she she's very close to. She was giving it, and she asked her about what's adultery. And uh, and so I, the, you know, Jackie explained it to her the best of knowledge that she has. I say, yeah. I say, she nah. have an understanding what it is. A, a, but how are you gonna get an understanding, understanding without, without the word? Without the word, so, you can't get no understanding without the word. So Jackie's explanation to her was what she knew, or what of adultery. I say now, there's, there's when that that means that just doesn't mean adultery a man and a woman, a man messing with a woman. I says also adultery with idols. That's you know, idols. Adultery. Because so, you're married to to, to God. I mean, you're married to God. Yeah. So, so and if but you she married to God in the spirit realm. Right. You that's commit adultery. adultery. That, and that's what I explained. You do because this you're an adult, so I want you to get it, just like I want heavenly yeah. to get it. There's two types. When that sell adultery, it's just not a man and a woman. Uh, it's, yeah, it's not it, man. It, it's God. It, it, it's you, God too. It's going back to adult. So I, you know, and so I say, did you know that? You know, and I, I want her to know the word. What the word? It's not, yeah, it's not. He said, what does the scripture tell you? Train a what? Up, oh, train a child up the way they should go. They should go. Right. See, how you gonna train her if you don't know you, what the word said? You can't. You can't train somebody to know the word. No, you can't. It's not. It's not gonna happen. Yeah, you can just holler what's right, what's wrong. I can holler that all day long. But Paz, you know uh, that that right there though is is just like with anything though. How can you teach something? If you don't know, it. you don't have no knowledge of it. You can't teach. Yeah, I know them teachers don't go just apply for a job and they went to school. school? They ain't got their degree. They get the, the diploma or get a degree that they Is need it? to teach. They had to teach them first. first. And I before they can teach you. Right there. They didn't become a teacher. They they, they became a teacher, teacher because it was taught. It was taught to be a teacher. teacher. And that's how they can teach. Uh, they, they, were they gave them the words to teach. teach. They gave that. And that's that's so that's important. That's natural, brother John. That's so important, though. It, just, it works the same way in the spirit, right? Yeah. So how can I teach her unless she know the word? Uh, and these know. words are, they're, they're, they're important. Uh, they're valuable. They're, you know what I'm saying? The little nuggets, the little words. And and so, I like I said, I got one that's, you know, and then the other two, they'll come. I'm going to train them up. I'm going to, you know, I, I can't undo what's been done, but I can go from henceforth. Yeah. That's so, all. And so, especially you find one that, that has a hunger. The girl has a hunger yeah. for it, so she and that's has, good. Yeah, I give that's them incentive. Good. You know, she but, have a hunger for God's yeah, word. Yeah, yes, now you can feed her. Yes, and she ain't, she can't get it. Then she ain't gonna be able to get enough because she want more. More. She want more of that knowledge. Mm -hmm. She want more understanding. 
Yeah. She want more wisdom. That's what the word of God will do for you. And that's going to replace them Make other things that's been put into her. Them wrong things. Yeah. See so what I'm saying? It's going to be lesser of arguing with your brothers. You're going to find that to be not, you yeah. know, but love your brother. She's going to get delivered from Yeah, she's going to get delivered. But if you're going to train and teach her that, she's going to stay bound. Yeah, and, and me, t me speaking to them, yelling, hey, stop. That's not, you know, well, that works for the moment, but then they go right back. And when I hang up the phone with them or leave them, yeah. they write back. Oh, no, they got flesh. Ooh, they, they full of flesh. Them, they full. And so the, if you don't teach you how, how to control come out that the flesh, flesh that's right. with the spirit. Because the spirit and the flesh what? War. They war with one another. Mm -hmm. Galatians 5 and 17. Yeah. They had war. Yeah, they had war. My flesh fights God. <laughs> but yeah. I take the power of God put him under subjection. Protection. See, you I gotta have the word. The power now to do that yes. before I have no power. power. You got the power through the word. Through That's the, the word. Through the, the word, word taught me how to get it. And, and I, I got it. it, and I ain't losing it. I'm gaining. It. Yes, sir. More knowledge on how to use it. So once you get something, you have to gain knowledge how to use that when you engage it and keep it and keep it because you can lose it if you get slack. Yes, yes right. As long as you lose it, faith come by what hearing. And here it was. The word of God. How did it go back to the word? It goes everything. For your goes faith back. to increase, you have to have the word of God that you hear it. Mm -hmm. How many times do you hear? Every day. Every day. Oh, to the day. You hear something. Yes. You hear the devil talk to you. Yeah. Somebody is talking. I, I and went, they're talking words. They talking. I went to Jeremiah 33, 1 through 3. And and you know, it just that's just that's a scripture that, you know, and it. I opened a Bible today at work, and there it was on Jeremiah 33. I just, <laughs> you know, and then I continued to read further, and yeah. and how you know God ain't playing. Yeah. He ain't, he ain't playing. playing. No, he wasn't like, playing back then. Some churches think yeah. he's playing. He wasn't playing then. Yeah, pre I appreciate preaching right to him. He ain't teaching yeah. him right. And that Jezebel spirit is all over. Oh, uh, yep, Lord Jesus. Uh oh, we're not, oh. we're not out of word. We ran out of time. There is a time for everything. Yes, now sir. we got to shut it down because it's time to shut down. In Jesus' name. Get a lot of time in Jesus' name.